It might not seem obvious to bring your older adolescent to see us at Children's Hospital. Even though it seems that they're done growing, many young adults still grow into their college years. They have an open growth plate. And this means that they're still growing. And so if a procedure is done incorrectly, injuries could happen to the growth plate and could cause serious problems. When we're talking about growth plates and other anatomical structures in the knee, what we're really, really talking about is the femur and the tibia. And in this area is a cartilage ring or cartilage plate and then duplicated here on the tibia. And this causes longitudinal growth or causes our children to grow taller. Most of the growth comes from this area in the lower extremity, specifically the femur. And if you injure this, you can get angular deformities or one limb can be shorter than the other. And so this is what's important about knowing how to do these procedures from a pediatric standpoint. The ACL is in the middle and this is what we're talking about when we reconstruct an ACL. You can't repair an ACL. ACLs need to be reconstructed with the patient's own tissue or donated tissue. The meniscus is the cartilage or the shock absorber in the knee. And about 60 to 70 percent of kids that have an ACL injury also have a meniscal tear. And the majority of these get fixed, which changes our rehab protocol slightly uh, by just allowing them not to put weight on that extremity for about six weeks.